welcome everyone today we are going to present a video presentation on broadcast storm problem in computer network there is an organization where csms ca network is used suppose node a initiate a broadcast of message and the message is received by node b and c according to blind flooding b and c rebroadcast the message if they had not broadcast it before therefore d will receive the message and also rebroadcast the message if there is no collision what problem can be occur and how we resolve it let's start discussion on our given scenario in the given figure what problem will occur when there is blind flooding in the network when node a initiate a broadcast of a message and the message is received by node b and c since node a is within the transmission range of node b and c it will receive two redundant copy of the message from node b and c this is also the case with node b and c which receive the message from node d and from each other see the second case in second case if node b and c broadcast at approximately the same time there is a possibility of packet collision at node d even if node b and c broadcast the message at different time node d will receive a total of two broadcast messages one each from node b and c in this figure we observe that only two rebroadcast node a and b or node a and c are actually necessary for all node to receive the broadcast from node a generally in broadcasting sending node select adjacent node as relay nodes to complete the broadcast transmission after this entries of these selected adjacent node are stored in forwarding list this process of maintaining forwarding list is iterated until the broadcast transmission ends suppose sending node is a but before sending node a maintains forwarding list by selecting its adjacent node b and c similarly this procedure follow with node b and c and node d and four forwarding list are generated which leads to redundancy because more number of nodes are common in these four forwarding list that's why it is potential to minimize the number of common nodes store in forwarding list so call to mind what logic we can apply as we have discussed redundancy problem in previous slide so to reduce this if we take minimal set cover list which cover maximum relay nodes then see what happen in this figure we will take two list that is one hope list and two hope neighbor list one hope list contain all the adjacent node of node a that is node b c and node e and two hope list contain all the adjacent node of one hope list nodes that is node h d g and node f now we will generate a set cover list and place all one hope neighbor in first column in second column that is two hope covered node place one by one all the adjacent node of all one hope neighbors node b has adjacent node h and node d node c c has adjacent node d g and node f this will continue for node e the adjacent node of node e is node f so we have got set cover list from previous slide let's minimize this set cover list and form a new list that will be rebroadcasting list we can see in the set cover list node b and node c cover all two hope neighbors so there is no need of node e because the adjacent node of node e is already covered by node c so in minimal set cover we add only node b and node c not node e hence in this way we can solve the redundancy problem thanks to all 